your grandma and grandpa, they wouldn't live. Because COVID been killing a lot of old people. And their their uh their T cells and their their uh their cell can't fight as good as ours can. So that's why we can live through the COVID and old people have been dying. And anybody that's sick with any type of disease or anything like that, it, when they have low T cells, they get sick with a regular cold and it's COVID, it'll kill them. So COVID is only strong for the people that are weak or older. Like, but I did see a, a one guy, he looked like he was a coach. And he looked pretty fit, and he died of COVID. And I was like, so that's not necessarily true either. But you don't know what kind of infection he was fighting inside his chest before COVID. You know what I'm saying? I think COVID was just the push over. Like, if you're about, you're like this close to death, COVID was the one that went like this. And then they, I knew a, uh, uh, this guy, he lost his wife and his dad to COVID. Yeah, uh, I'm dad from COVID. Yeah. And oops, try to say that 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 dance profile was him. That's why Wilson got out and out. Oh, he definitely would have died if he was older. He's still strong in his fifties. You're still good in your fifties. But if you he was in his we'll say his maybe late or um, or early 60s that would have been and if he was sick with something that would have took him it would have took him and I mean and they said there's another strand going around now I mean all this stuff is in the Bible too it says all this stuff was gonna happen It was predicted, so I, I don't understand, like, it's crazy how much stuff was already predicted and nobody really took it serious anyway, so, nobody, do, they don't take the Bible serious now, I mean, dude, there was animals, I just watched this video, all these animals are freaking dead, all dead, and in the Bible it says that this is exactly what happened in the Bible, and people are, are shocked, Euphrates River goes dry. People still don't believe. They got the red heifers already in Israel. Okay? They got everything in place for this ceremony. Okay? That's supposed to bring the second coming of Jesus. And it's going to happen. There's a lot of stuff going on. I'm telling you. And Saudi Arabia does not want to share any of that knowledge at all. They're not they're not pro Messiah. They're not pro Messiah. Because they're still waiting on on theirs. And theirs is ours as well, but I hope they listen at the end. Maybe at the end. You know, like I said, what's gonna be confusing when the second coming of Jesus comes and he straight tells you what he is. You know what I'm saying? There's not going to be no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You know what I'm saying? But there's also an antichrist coming, which makes me fear. How do you know? Oh, there's a way to decipher it. But they said that he's going to make be the one that puts the peace treaty together with all the countries that brings peace to Israel for three and a half years. Right? Three, three and a half years. And then... He will reveal his true intentions, which would mean that he's not about the Christians at all. That he's only he's that he he believes he's the God. So, just the Bible's all there. You just got to read.